Welcome back to Island Tea with your faves, Kevin, and as in feature Jay Johnson, Gwenny Gwen. And it is time to jump into Eat Local with our guest, the Olympian himself, Jason Rogers. Welcome and good morning. Thanks. Good morning and thanks for having me as well. Yeah. Man, Jason, um, you're feeling like such an honor to, to, to be here talking to you this morning. Really? I, I think um, a lot of people have been um, asking the question, like, by what, 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 what are the Olympics looking like? We having anybody? And then, you know, we had a an announcement made earlier earlier this week. Um, and then people were just like, bye, bye, we got two, we got two, <laughs> you know? And um, now we're really feeling the, the, the population really looking forward to to the games and thing but um how how you how you feel now because it's it's only a, a, what a, a few weeks out less than three weeks before um you know things really kick off how you how you feeling well i'm feeling um actually i'm feeling pretty good because um even though it's just around the corner i think i'm in the place that um i need to be because there were many um, instances where I have like events coming up and it's like maybe next week and I don't feel right to have aches, I have pains, I have things I'm going through. So I think at this present moment, I'm in the right place physically, mentally and emotionally. Wow, I see. And I don't think people recognize recognize that, um, especially because they don't see all the work that you guys have to do to prepare. And while you're doing all that work, still have to be dealing with life and all that life brings. So it's really happy. I'm really happy to hear that you're doing. It. You're feeling so good. You're in good spirits, mm -hmm. and that all those aspects of your life right now seem to be coming together at the right time. Because a lot of athletics is about things coming together at the right time, peaking at the right time. Correct? Yes. Yes. Very much so. Yeah. But um, yeah, guys, we're talking to um Jason Rogers, who is an athlete um. Born and bred right here in St. Kitts. Um, no, he was not born and bred in St. Kitts. He was born and bred in Sandipoint. Sorry, sorry. I <laughs> humbly apologize. <laughs> Remember, it's two different. The, 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 the Republic of Sandy Point would um would would would, would, would kill us this morning. Yeah, yes. they wouldn't appreciate that. <laughs> but but Jason, tell us a bit about how you got your start in athletics and how you moved to to where you're at right now. Um, pretty much started when I was in like primary school. Um. Just running at like sports days and this stuff, like I figured out that I was kind of good because I either be winning or coming second. And I always just every year I just go out, run, participate because I like sports. I'm a sportsman. I did um, basketball, football, different sports, but I always excel in trap. And then when I started winning, winning, I was like, I want to see how far I could get with this. Like how could, how good can I get? So, so I just kept doing so, it. So, what point? At what point did you like make that decision? Like, by I kind of like this thing. Let me see if I could do it seriously. What 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 stage in your life that was? That was in two thousand and eight, I think. Like, um, I've been traveling, making teams and what's not, but I was really traveling for the like fun of traveling. Right, mm. right. Because I was young them times. But it was in 2008 when I had like one of my biggest international meets because the meets before that was like regionally, like we'll go Anguilla, Antigua and those stuff. And then this meet in 2008, they sent us to India. And this is, this is a Commonwealth Youth Games. Mm -hmm. So all the countries in the Commonwealth. So I went out there, came third in the 100 and I came fourth in the 200 and I was like, Wow, and then it blew me away from that, and I was like, if I could do so good amongst all these big countries, you know, because he had England, you know, all these Canada, right, Australia, uh, everybody. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I was like, well, this is it for me, you know. So you started. So you so ultra high school, you're running, um, and so you 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 finish high school, um, I, and I remember amazing um, performances at, at the inter-school competition um, as a as a Bastia High alum um, you weren't necessarily my favorite person I mean but I could still respect what he do eh? I could still respect <laughs> what he do eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah but um, 
what was the next step for you um you know after you completed like your high school high school career well uh, basically um it had a few schools in the u.s reached out to me but i decided to go with the university of el paso in texas mm-hmm. and then i was to leave january of 2009 but right after that said me that i told you about in 2008 when i got back i got in a, a vehicle accident oh, um, yeah. messed up my leg like pretty bad and that caused me to like be out for like six to eight months wow so i spent the whole 2009 just trying to recover rehabbing um, yeah exactly so that would and that would have been your first um year um you know in university yeah and the thing about it too right um i finished high school because i was going to cfbc around these times mm-hmm. and then i probably finished like a year um from since i left school and then right after the accident they started in 2009 the ncaa changed the rules and say um when because they usually say when you reach 20 your ncaa is automatically start but they change it to as soon as you leave high school you oh, right. start so uh i already missed like a year and a half so we did deal the deal was no good anymore wow because it was a it was a full scholarship everything paid for just come run for the school and everything free wow so 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 even at this point you're facing all these challenges because not only you're dealing with uh, an injury as a result of a vehicle accident, but you're also now even reevaluating how you'll be able to go off and 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 train and and and, and get better, you know, in this in the US running for university. Yeah. So, at this point, you must be questioning exactly how you're gonna get stuff done at this point what, what was your goal at this point was your goal to you know get a, a college education are you you at this point you, you're already thinking like man i want to be a pro in at this thing um well after speaking with the, the school afterwards i reached out to them and then they practically said hey it can't work so my goal was basically to start walking again because the doctor said i wouldn't run that's what he said wow, wow. but mm. yeah because I went from like being in bed, like can't move in bed for like a month, just gotta just lay down in bed. And then I went from bed to wheelchair, to two crutches, to one crutch, to limping, to walking. So, so you had to literally a, learn to walk again? Yeah, yeah, it was Some a whole way. experience. Yeah, it was really tough. But a lot of people would know because I don't really, you know, I'm not really that out there. Wow. So so you get to a point where you're now able to not only walk again but actually run again. And so mm-hmm. yeah. what was the next step on your on your on your journey? After, you know, having that conversation with the school and knowing that by this this arm opportunity might might actually slip out of my fingers. Well things something happened so fast. Okay, before I answer that question, let me tell you what really happened why the leg was so bad mm-hmm. um it was a bus accident two of them collide and because i see the accident coming i kind of like hold on on the chairs yeah and mm-hmm. what happened was the steel from inside the chair that I was sitting went straight up in my leg like from on and it comes straight up so um, why it was so bad excuse me while i pass out what it was it was that bad so when I got up out of the vehicle, like, I didn't feel anything. And then my brother was in the same bus as me. And he was like, yo, you got a big hole in your leg. And then as soon as he said it, like the pain just hit me. Bam, I can't even walk no more. Right. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. Wow. But, um, Water come to me after, just now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. it, was, it was crazy. But um, right after that, things started happening so fast. Like um, I had a team who started working with me because my goal was to to get back no matter what so i had a team who was working with me um a female by the name of nayoka collins she's like a, a masseuse therapist so 
I have I had her and I had a strength conditioning coach who would like help me with the leg like strengthening it because we all know it would be weak from the lack of use mm-hmm. and um so even before the 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 um the scar was healed like even while, while it was opening up it would have like scar tissues and like it would be like a big lump mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so before it heals what what her job was to massage it and like that would cause a lot of pain mm-hmm. so when when it fully heals it would just go back flat like Normal, flat yeah. leg instead of uh, instead of lump on the leg mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and then in the gym now we would like just building strength and giving back the confidence and stuff into the leg instead of being like when it's fully healed you got to walk with a limp and all that mm-hmm. so once we got that done and everything is back to normal then i just attempt to run and everything was happening still as soon as i, I came back from after that i made the uh, with the team and all that so things still start happening and then the next year it just took off again for me i went to world juniors rank six i came six in the world wow in world juniors from commonwealth imagine that from coming to worlds hmm. the whole world now right. rank six that year and um I also got a silver at Carifta that same year. Wow. Mm-hmm. Imagine, so. imagine that going from not being able to, to walk. walk to actually running to the point that and, you're and winning and some and winning, winning things, I mean, you know? That wow. Yeah, I think this is a real testament to to the to the not just the talent that you have but the work that you were willing to put in to get right? back to, to, to where you are. Um Yeah, yeah. And and to be honest, like these are the kind of stories that I hear, like on ESPN 60 and so. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like, 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 no, because yeah, you, yeah you, you you could ima- you, you can't even imagine. I don't even want to imagine like the toll it took on on you mentally. Uh, like, right? like you have and, to think uh, about yeah. the fact that you are trying to achieve this goal, and the tools that you need are the tools that yeah injured like injured. And literally, like, your yeah. feet yeah. is what you need, and you can't even move out of bed because of an accident wow. yeah my current wow. my current coach right now he always he keep telling me um i need to start be more more open and you know like get my story out there and let people know who yeah. i really am you know because this is this is interesting stuff for the world to know i and remember it's still inspiring it's still inspiring for people yeah so you you got to you got to you got to be out i remember when it happened because and i, I guess that's more because um, um, we have mutual friends like um, Rush, who I know is one yeah, of your yeah. big fans, and like you know, we, we spoke about you know your situation and thing. And I, 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 mem- I remember thinking at the point like, by that might be the career, you know, that might be it, like you know. So I've I've always been mindful and looking at you progress and get back and claim to where you are now. I mean, to me, it's it's, it's an incredible story to be honest. And mm-hmm. even before the Olympics, even before anything that might happen, um, and we we really hoping that you come back with with a goal but to to even just get there i think is 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 an incredible it's an incredible story like i'm i'm personally um very proud of of what you've been able to achieve and as a kitchen like i think that that's something that we really could could rally behind i think it's very inspiring to be totally honest so and to me it's yeah. even it's even like inspiring to me too cuz to me i surprise myself sometimes yeah man so. Yeah. I just try my best to even do that to like, you know, build myself. Yeah, and so you, so you got to a point where you know, back running again, competing at Carifto, competing at World at the World World Juniors, um, and so. What's next in terms of your what 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 happened next in terms of your career? Because, how did we go from all right, I'm back, I'm competitive again. Um, there's an Olympics that's supposed to be happening. I would assume at the time in 2020. Mm-hmm. So, what what was the next step in your in your in your career? Well, this was this was back in like 2010 and 11 mm-hmm. when I was a when I was a junior. So it was World Juniors and that's what. No, I'm a senior. So this next step from around that was um, I started training with um, Kim Collins when he moved back to Saint Kitts mm-hmm. back in 2011. And I'm sure y'all know in, and that's that, that that was like my debut for like the senior level. Right. Mm. So, um, we started training, and then that same year, I'm sure y'all know we came third in the world for world championship in the relay. In the relay. The bronze medal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the bronze medal that we got. 
so that kind of like that kind of started the senior the senior um the senior season for me but i think that's and a then, good way to start <laughs> yeah yeah that's it was a very good way so i had a lot of i had a lot of eyes on me after that and it'd be like oh this this young guy from st kitts was on the with the team he's very good and like a lot of people keep talking talking about me and then a lot of things start happening from there and then 2012 i went to my first olympics with um still training with Kim and what's not mm-hmm. and then that that opened more doors and then things just start happening up until now wow wow amazing i mean just yeah. just i mean just being able to and you know i remember some of those nationals i remember some of the nationals like mm-hmm. um watching over the years watching um jason yeah me and antoine and right yeah. Yeah, and, and it was it was incredible watching the development because at the time you were kind of the young you were the you were the young one <laughs> you were the young one. Yeah, I was always the youngest between everybody. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so it was it was they always, always they always cheated me equal. They always build me, they motivate me, especially Delwyn. Yeah, Delwyn always always pulling me along. Yeah, Even man, a young a young boy. So we're here now, and um, we have a couple of weeks before the Olympics. Like we we keep mm-hmm. saying. Um, the the, the the expectation um, is that people people are gonna go to these games and it's gonna be different because of everything that's going on with COVID and and stuff like that. Um, are you concerned at all about that, or are you more focused on just doing on your race and 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 what you you have to do? No, I'm not. I'm not worried about um, COVID because they have a. Uh, they have a pretty a pretty good setup for us in terms of being aware and keeping COVID away from us, because when we get there, they they actually have us living on an island by ourselves in Japan. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so we far from everybody. And then for the Olympics, they don't have no international uh, fun, so you can't fly into Tokyo. Yeah, to you watch can't fly in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so only Tokyo people could come, and then the limiting the Tokyo people, and also the interaction with the athletes. So it's basically just us within us, and that's about it. Yeah. So I'm not worried about it. And even here, like I'm, I'm very isolated. Like I don't really mix with people. It's just me and my coach. We go to the track, we train, we come back. We go to the gym, we come back, and that's mm-hmm. about it. So where are you right now? I'm in uh, Virginia. Okay, and you've been yeah. in you've been in Virginia training now. How long? Um, about five six months. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah. But I think I really don't I don't think people understand, understand like the dedication that, that it takes to like run these races. I remember I think it was Bolt one time. Yeah. He say I trained four years to run nine seconds. Right. <laughs> yeah. And and that's the thing. If it wasn't for the Corona, I would have been here for like a year or two years. But because of the corona and everything got set back, I had a chance to be home and be with the family. So <laughs> yeah. even though that happened, it's still a good to it, you know? Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. I, I, I am just excited to see what you will do because we have full confidence in you. Literally, we, I mean, we don't have no choice, but <laughs> we have full <laughs> confidence. I appreciate it. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to do my best. Just we we know you won't disappoint at yeah. all. Um. We are we we will all be locked into our TVs with our flags and our horns and whistles. You might hear saying it's from 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 the racetrack actually. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah but like I always I always feel the energy and the good vibes out there. Cause trust me, even though we don't have a lot of people, we still have people who reach out. Like at every opportunity they get, they reach out and mm-hmm. they, you know motivate me and push me still. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know for sure the Republic of Sandy Point directly, <laughs> directly <laughs> supports would. Jason 120%. Um, like, I see, yeah, I that's see it the, all the time. That's, that's like my backbone. Like, he always there, no matter what. Right. Yeah. But I think that... Um, oh, Jason, just, just to clarify for people, you are competing in, in the 100 meter? Yeah, just the, just the 100 meter. Right. And, and you know that's that's mm-hmm. that's it's what I did. That's the race everybody wants, yeah. Literally. Yeah, that's the that's the main event for the Olympics. Yeah. That's what they call it, the main event. Like, even like back in 2012 when um when I went to my first Olympics, I was heading to the stadium to watch the 100 meter finals, and you wouldn't believe the type of people who is rushing 
like trying to beat me to get to the stadium. Like Kobe <laughs> Bryant, Chris Paul, Iguodala, these are the guys I yeah. see because they would come to represent USA basketball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And these guys rushing. Imagine Kobe and these guys rushing to see the hundred meter final. So yeah. it means it means a lot to me as well. Yeah. What is your what what was your qualifying time? Uh ten zero one. Ooh. You know fast at it. Yeah. <laughs> Watch here. When I hear them kind of time there, I, I used to run, I and I up. just don't need to tell nobody that there because, yeah. What was yours? I glad you picked it up. What was yours? What was what? Mm. You hear me say when the man said kind of time there, I don't, I, I don't even consider what I used to do running. At least, at least ten, at least ten something, man. Okay. <laughs> yes, I was, I was, I, was, I, I broke ten, so I. I, 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 I okay, 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 okay. That is over clap. That is over clap. <laughs> <laughs> But but just and I know your mind is focused on the upcoming Olympics. But do you have any plans of going to the twenty twenty four um, Olympics? Like what's what, what's after what's after this one? Um, you know, me and my coach discussed it. Like we talk about it like every other day. And um, but there's a lot of things going on before that. Like next year we have World Championship. Mm-hmm. So and we still have Commonwealth Games. Mm-hmm. But like these are the seniors come out with games and then you still have different things in between those on oh, and wall indoors too right they have like indoors meets whether the 60 meters mm-hmm. so these are events we want to take part in and then it was like yo you know we got to get ready for 2024 and mm-hmm. it's gonna go down again but let's just get over this one first and then let's get over next year and then the year after that so he want to take it in stages but we definitely got our eyes on it yeah mm-hmm. But um, you compete yeah. in the leagues like Diamond Leagues and stuff like that, like you. Yeah, I was supposed. I was registered to do a few this year, but because of how um close we traveling to Tokyo, because mm-hmm. like even now I was supposed to be in Europe to do some, but because I got to travel to Europe to come back and then go back to Tokyo, it would be too much on the body. Yeah. So my coach, my coach canceled it. So actually, we're gonna stay here in the US and compete. We travel tomorrow. We're going to Atlanta, Georgia for a race. Mm-hmm. We're on, so we travel tomorrow, we're on Friday, and come back Saturday. Oh, awesome. Awesome. So, yeah. bro, I, I, I am very interested in, in, the, in the journey um, that you're on right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm happy that you said that, yeah, the Olympics coming up is definitely a bright spot, but it's definitely not the, the end goal. We could see yeah. um, your potential, your potential, I'm um, taking you places for years to come, mm-hmm. and um, we're hoping that um, you know you, you you really maximize all of that and and get all that. That's for you, bro. Like it's 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 amazing. It's amazing what you've had to go through to to be here, and uh, we okay. see the we see we see the results of the work that you've been putting in. Um, and all we could do is really just wish you the best, man. Like we are really, rooting for you. Really, I really appreciate it. You know the the support and the love. Like it's been real. You know, it wasn't fake, no way around, and I just really appreciate it because nobody has to do this. So, you know, yeah. it goes it goes a long way for me. Like even when I'm feeling down, like you know, it it brings me back up. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure, man. And and we we hear saying this, and know that it's not just us. Like people on the mm-hmm. on the on the on the lives on YouTube, Facebook. Yeah. Like all these people are are, are sending you well wishes. Um, hoping the best for you. Um, telling you we're proud of you. Um, you know, so definitely, definitely know that we 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 behind you 100%. Um, and really looking forward to you when you stand on that on that line. Even even this one in Atlanta, know that we're right there with you, bro. Yeah, for sure. So thanks again, everyone. Thanks to my people, my supporters, my fans. Yeah, anybody Thank you want to big up back home for having us. Yeah, big up my uh, my family, my my uh, my loved ones. Uh, big up my coach. I know he's watching. He's always locked in on everything I do. Um, I have a four year old daughter as well. Uh, hey. I wanna, yeah, I want to show her out. Big up my girlfriend, her mom. She's doing a, a wonderful job with her with my absence. So kudos to her for that. For sure, for and, sure. Yeah, 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 man. But. Jason, thanks for taking the time out um, to, to, to talk to us today. Um, hopefully, we could even have a conversation 
um, in a few weeks when you could come and show us your gold medal. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> that's, that's easy, that's easy. Nice, nice. I appreciate your big time, bro. <laughs> All right, thanks for having me.